you mentioned earlier this week one of the biggest games is going to be Michigan State Ohio State. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm all here for it, and I've told you before we 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 got to this moment right now. You will never, ever, in my life, say this again, or, or I hope not. I know I, I I know exactly what you're gonna say. This weekend, Kyle, I am cheering for Ohio State. Oh, now, that's now, surprising. But 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 hear me out. I, I thought I, you would have said Michigan State. It's more to it than that. The reason why I'm cheering for Ohio State is right now. In the Big Ten, uh, we're in the West, I believe. Um, Michigan State, Ohio State, and Michigan all have one loss, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing that 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 detours Ohio State from Michigan State and Michigan is that Ohio State's only loss came from Oregon. Oregon is not in the Big Ten. Michigan and Michigan State, Michigan lost to Michigan State, Michigan State lost to Purdue. So we both have a loss within the Big Ten. Yes. So right now, as far as rankings go, it's Ohio State, Michigan State. Or no, 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 no. Michigan State and Michigan are tied for second place. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's why this weekend, Michigan Michigan fans are, 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 are just keeping in their mind we we must win out it's a win out game mm-hmm. because it's going to come down to Ohio State and Michigan that last game of the season and whoever mm-hmm. wins that game is obviously going on to the Big Ten championship mm-hmm. but also will have a shot to be in the playoffs um so that's why that's why you know what I'm saying for and, and the reason why I'm not emphasizing Michigan playing this weekend because they're playing Maryland that's that's a oh they're they're, that's they're, they're yeah they're gonna so I mean if yeah that's why my 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 attention is really on Michigan State and Ohio State and what I will say too is that this Michigan State Ohio State game is gonna be a real good determinant factor on the outcome of when we play Ohio State and when I mean we I'm talking about Michigan um mm. because if 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 they're neck and neck with Michigan State. We were looking at that with Michigan State too. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the scary thing about Ohio State too is that this team is super young, but they're all talented. And I remember at the beginning of the season, myself included, oh, this Ohio State team just just isn't the same as last year. But again, team is full of freshmen and sophomores. Yeah. And what's scary is that next year they're all coming back. Yep. So, so if they're balling out like right now with with, with freshmen and sophomores, next year they're gonna be a monster. So if there's a year to beat Ohio State, it's probably gonna be this year. Exa- and we're at home, so it's got yep. it's gotta be. Yep. It's, it's all or it's, nothing. It's you gotta know what be. I'm it, yep. It's gotta be. So yeah. so uh, obviously when that times come, I, I'll we'll go into more detail. But but like I said, my, my main focus this weekend is Michigan State and Ohio State because that kind of that kind of dictates not only Michigan's future but those three teams within the big Ten's future as well so okay well really interesting well you you hear here first guys you're you you uh you just saw for the first time in your lives probably a michigan fan cheer for ohio state so go buckeyes please this you is know what I'm this is this is a pro buckeyes podcast for the first time this is great if, if any michigan fans watching this you gotta you it, it, it's just for this weekend and, and honestly if you're not a cheer for them either I, I, I don't know what to tell you. You want Ohio State to numbers and logistically speaking, Michigan fans, as as hard as it is to say, we need Ohio State to beat Michigan State. And then I, 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 when, when when Sunday comes, it's go blue again. You know what I mean? It's still it's still go blue always. Yeah. But 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 you know what I'm saying? When Sunday comes, now 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 it's it's, it's now we prepare for Ohio State. So. And just and just super quickly, just 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 one more point. Can we all just take a second to realize that when people were upset that Michigan was ranked ahead of Michigan State in the rankings, that was because Michigan State lost to an unranked opponent in, in, in Purdue. There was no reason why Michigan State should have been above Michigan, even though they beat Michigan only by four points. And Purdue, last time I checked, that week was unweak, and they lost, and they beat Michigan State by eleven points. So, and if folks, any if there was any question about that, 
that's that's complete bullshit. So there you go. This man, this man, this man is not even a he's not a fan of Michigan or Michigan. I'm not even a Michigan fan. I don't don't even he's keeping it real with you. He's keeping it real with you. You know what? My favorite college football team, go Redbirds, baby. Illinois State. (laughs) We're gonna win the natty one year. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen once in, 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 in my in my lifetime.